By the year 2050, about 30 million Americans are expected to suffer from Alzheimer's disease. Experts in the field are trying to determine if sophisticated imaging equipment can help predict the development of the disease. Alzheimer's disease, dementia, and memory loss are not all the same. Dementia is a general term, meaning loss of significant cognitive functioning. Memory loss is one form of dementia. It's often the earliest form of dementia. Alzheimer's disease is a single form of dementia. Both my mother and my grandmother had dementia. And with my mother, we had her tested for Alzheimer's, and they said that she did not have Alzheimer's but that she did have a severe case of dementia. So every time I would forget to do something or forget anything, I would say, uh-oh, I'm losing it. The Michigan Alzheimer's Disease Research Center has an interest in these patients because we have an opportunity to involve them in research. The research includes our imaging studies for the diagnosis of dementia to detect the form of dementia that a particular memory loss will take, or for people who have memory loss who will never develop a dementia but have the normal age-associated memory loss. The studies will include both diagnostic imaging studies and clinical evaluations, and also therapies. I felt, yes, this is a good thing to do because with my family history, with my mother and grandmother, I felt maybe the things that I am participating in in research will help other people so that they won't have to go through seeing what I did with my relatives. All of this research is, Im is important to me and I hope that through the results of my testing and others who are participating in this research, that it would make a difference to people like my children and eventually my grandchildren.